founder of Shaw Communications, officer of the Order of Canada, recipient of the Alberta Order of Excellence, Canadian Business Hall of Fame inductee, entrepreneur, leader, innovator, philanthropist, and family man. J.R. Shaw has a remarkable story. J.R. grew up in rural southwestern Ontario. The communication trailblazer's fascination with TV began at a very young age. So then I go get on my bicycle one day and I go down to a neighbor's uh, house and a friend was there, come on and see what we got. Well, he had a television in the house and the aerial outside and the first program I saw was the Lone Ranger. You gotta be kidding. What I was hearing on the radio, now I'm watching on television in this box. In 1961, JR and his family moved from Ontario to Edmonton to expand the family's pipeline business. And in 66, I stepped out from a successful job at pipe coating to start working on bringing in cable television to uh, Edmonton. Since connecting their first cable customer in Sherwood Park in 1971, Capital Cable, which later became Shaw Communications, grew exponentially and now employs 15,000 people and provides cable television, high-speed internet, digital phone telecommunications services, and satellite direct-to-home services to over 3 million customers. But the way in life is, is, is if you're lucky enough, fortunate enough to be successful, you're fortunate enough to, uh, to share it. The first place that JR gave back was at Nate. He served as chair of Nate's Board of Governors from 1990 to 1997, was instrumental in the Institute's first capital fundraising campaign, which raised $4.5 million in 1991, and was named a distinguished friend of the Institute in 1997. In 2007, JR received an honorary diploma in business administration and the business school was named in his honor. You just don't realize the magnitude and the influence that those graduates come out of Nate have. JR's connection to Nate continues to this day as he inspires the next generation of business leaders. Dream of something that's a little bit beyond what, what you can see and so forth and what if. So look at, just apply yourself and, and be fortunate that you're born in Alberta and Edmonton and Canada and uh, the opportunities that you have, uh, uh, no end to them.